it's Addie, and today we are watching Psycho. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we're watching Psycho, and part of me is thinking, oh, it came out in 1960, it can't be that scary. And the other part of me is thinking maybe it will make it even scarier. I don't know. I've also heard that this movie is referred to the mother or the father of modern horror movies. So that makes me nervous and I feel like it's going to be freaking scary. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm learning while watching a few horror, 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 while watching a four, a, I can't talk. Hmm, reset. While watching a few horror movies here and there. Really, it's not the gore that gets me. It's not the, I don't know, the blood. What really gets me is the suspense of horror movies. Just the build up and the waiting and the waiting and where is he? When is he going to attack? Just that waiting is literally what kills me. So I have a feeling that this movie is going to be a lot of that. And that's what makes me nervous because that's what really gets me with horror movies. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos. And let's get in to Psycho. Oh, nope, nope. That's too loud. Yep, need to turn it down. Here we go. Maybe the first like 30 minutes of this movie is just going to be credits. And so it, it le less, less horror. No credits are over. I have to watch this movie. At least it's not Friday the 13th. I better get back to the office. Why don't you call your boss and tell him you're taking the rest of the afternoon off? Sam, I hate having to be with you in a place like this. This is the last time. Yeah, for what? For this. I can come down next week. No. Not even just to see you? Have lunch? Have lunch. Oh, we can see each other, but respectably. I want to see you, and under any circumstances, even respectability. If I can see you and touch you even as simply as this, I won't mind. Larry, and you want to cut this off? Go out and find yourself somebody available? I'm thinking of it. Oh. How could you even think a thing like that? <laughs> hey, we can leave together, can't we? <clears throat> I'm late, and uh, you have to put your shoes on. <laughs> Is Mr. Lowry back from lunch? He's lunching with a man who's buying the Harris Street property. You got a headache? Oh, it'll pass. Yeah. I've got something, not aspirin. My mother's doctor gave them to me the day of my wedding. What Teddy was it? furious when he found out I'd taken tranquilizers. Oh. Oh, Marion, will you get the copies of that deed ready for Mr. Cassidy? Yes. Uh, tomorrow's the day, my sweet little girl. Oh, not, not you. Oh. My daughter. <laughs> Tomorrow, she stands her sweet self up there and gets married away from me. And she never had an unhappy day in any one of those years. You know what I do about unhappiness? I buy it off. Are you unhappy? Mm, not inordinately. I'm buying this house for my baby's wedding present. $40,000 cash. I declare. I don't. That's how I get to keep it. Well... Suppose we put it in the safe, and then Monday morning, when you're feeling good... Where's that bottle you said was in your desk? Oh. oh. Drinking on the job. I can keep my mouth shut. <laughs> okay. Put it in the safe deposit box in the bank, and we'll get him to give us a check on Monday instead. I wish houses were $40,000 now. But they are not. But Mr. Lowry, if you don't mind, I'd like to go right on home after the bank. I have a slight head. You go right on home. Well, what you need is a weekend in Las Vegas, the playground of the world. Yep, that, that'll help a headache. I guess I'll go put this money in the bank and then go home and sleep it off. You haven't taken it to the bank yet? Are you going to do the right thing or are you just going to take it? It looks like you're just taking it. What are you doing up here? Of course, I'm glad to see you. I always am. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Don't worry about it. Just keep walking. Oh, oh, um... 
Okay, you just pulled over. Thought she was about to get in a wreck. Just taking a little nap here. Hold it there. In quite a hurry. Yes, I didn't intend to sleep so long. You slept here all night? There are plenty of motels in this area. I didn't intend to sleep all night. I just pulled over. Have I broken any laws? No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then I'm free to go. Is anything wrong? Nope, we didn't take a lot of money or anything. Am I acting as if there's something wrong? Frankly, yes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. May I see your license? <laughs> Don't mind the envelope of cash. Nothing to see here. You probably should have let him go first so that he's not following you this whole time. Okay, you're good. Are you selling your car? Be with you in a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. He's watching you. Can I trade my car in and take another? Do anything you've a mind to. Being a woman, you will. <laughs> well, why don't you have a look around here and see if there's something to strike your eyes? Meanwhile, I'll have my mechanic give you the once over. I'm in a hurry, and I just want to make a change. Yep. He's here. Uh, how much? Go ahead. Spin it around the block. It looks fine. You mean you don't want the usual day and I have to think it over? Nope. <laughs> we need about five minutes. It's the first time the customer ever high pressured the salesman. Your car plus $700. 700. All right. You're not going to talk him down? I mean, when she has $40,000. I take on her. it you can prove that car is yours. I your... believe I have the necessary papers. Is there a lady's room? No. Over there. Yeah, it didn't even make a dent. From that pile, from that wad of cash. Ma'am, it's not that I don't trust you, but... Uh... But what? He doesn't trust Is you. Is there anything so terribly wrong about making a decision? All right, let's go inside. If he's staying there, though, he'll know what car you're driving. Mm. Yeah, he'll know your license plate and everything. Hey! <laughs> Just put it in here, please. Look like a wrong one to you. Acted like one. Girl works for you for ten years. You trust her. You check with the bank. No, they never laid eyes on her. No, you still trust her. Didn't go to the bank. Plan and and he's a flirting with me. She was not flirting with you. You were flirting with her. Oh, you can't see anything. I've heard of the Bates Motel before. Isn't it haunted or something though? The Bates Motel came from the studio. It doesn't look like anyone's here. This makes me nervous. Okay, a little spooky house. Feels a little spooky. Ugh. Jeez. Gee, I'm sorry I didn't hear you in all this rain. Go ahead in, please. You have a vacancy. 12 cabins, 12 vacancies. They moved away the highway. There's no sense dwelling on our losses. We just keep on lighting the lights and following the formalities. Cabin one. It's closer in case you want anything right next to the office. Convenient. Well, there's a big diner about 10 miles up the road, just outside of Fairvale. Am I that close to Fairvale? 15 miles. Maybe you should not stay here then. Maybe you should just keep on driving to the town. Oh, I got stuffy in here. Mm -hmm. Open windows are never a good sign. If you want anything, just, just tap on the wall. I'll, I'll be in the office. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bates. Norman Bates. Oh, I've heard the name Norman Bates too. Would you have dinner with me? I was just about to myself. You know, nothing special, just sandwiches and milk. I'd like to. All right, uh, you, you get yourself settled and, and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. Everything feels so normal right now, so I don't know when things are gonna hit the fan. <laughs> I don't like the, the windows are open though. Don't like that. I always get so nervous that I'm gonna look through a window and see a face. And so this scene is driving me insane. Just hide it in the newspaper. I won't have you bringing strange young girls in for supper. After supper, music whispers. Mother, she's just a stranger. She's hungry and it's raining out. Don't tell her she'll not be appeasing her ugly appetite with my food or my 
my son. Okay. You have the guts, boy? Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Tough relationship with your mother. I've caused you some trouble. No, she isn't quite herself today. I wish you could apologize for other people. As long as you're fixed to supper, we may as well eat it. I, I have the parlor back here. If... All right. Are you going to turn on the light, though? Okay, okay. You are going to turn on the light. Okay, thank you. Oh. Sit down. You're very kind. Oh, you have so many animals in here. It's all for you. I'm not hungry. Go ahead. Don't tell me you're going to, like, eat her later. It's not going to be, like, a cannibal thing, is it? You eat like a bird. You know, of course. Yeah. I don't really know anything about birds. My hobby is stuffing things. You know, taxidermy. Fun. I hate the look of beasts when they're stuffed. You know, foxes and chimps. Some people even stuff dogs and cats, but... Oh, I can't do that. Please don't. At least you draw a line somewhere. It's a strange hobby. <laughs> Curious. Uncommon, too. A man should have a hobby. It's, it's more than a hobby. Though. A hobby's supposed to pass the time, not fill it. Do you go out with friends? Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. Okay, you don't have friends. Where are you going? I'm looking for a private island. Aren't we all? What are you running away from? Why do you ask that? People never run away from anything. You know what I think? We're all in our private traps, and none of us can ever get out. Okay, he... Yeah, he seemed normal at first. He's kind of unsettling now. Sometimes we deliberately step into those traps. I was born in mine. I don't mind it anymore. You should mind it. Oh, I do, but I say I don't. If anyone ever talked to me the way I heard, the way she spoke to you. I feel I'd like to go up there and curse her and, and, and leave her forever. But I know I can't. She's ill. She sounded strong. <laughs> no, she did. A few years ago, Mother met this man, and he, he talked her into building this motel. When he died, too, it was just too great a shock for her. And the way he died... How did he die? Did you kill him? It was just too great a loss for her. She had nothing left. A son is a poor substitute for a lover. Please don't tell me that... 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 Um... Wouldn't it be better if you put her someplace... You mean an institution? A madhouse? Yeah. I mean, something like that. Have you ever seen the inside of one of those places? My mother there? She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. I am sorry. I meant well. People always mean well. They cluck their thick tongues and shake their heads and suggest oh so very delicately. Yeah, very unsettling now. She needs me. She just goes a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. Haven't you? And now you're just smiling. You're not going back to your room already. Well, where else are I'm you to go? I'm very tired. And I'll have a long drive tomorrow. If you survive tonight, geez. Stepped into a private trap back there, and I'd like to go back and try to pull myself out of it. Well, uh, I'll see you in the morning. All right, Miss, uh... Crane. Crane, that's it. Oh, I feel like now is when things are going to get a, a little creepy. Hmm. She told you her last name was Crane. You're just going to listen. Oh, is there, like, a peephole? <gasps> Oh, no. No wonder you put her in one! Oh. You've made some questionable decisions in the past couple of days, but you don't deserve this. Oh, no. Okay. Just go to your room and stay there for the rest of the night, please. Oh no. I feel like I know where this is going. Oh no. Is he gonna... Yeah, he's... I think he's here. He's here. Oh my gosh, just seeing him through the shower curtain. No. No. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Wait, is this the mom? Oh, that was the mom. And 
and you're dead. At least you don't have to worry about the money now. Okay, that scene wasn't all that bad. I don't like this zooming in on the drain. I don't like it. Ugh. Mother, oh God, mother, blood, blood. I guess you're in shock, but you just seem, you seem a little calm about this. Are you gonna cover it up for your mom? I guess no one would really know that she was here besides the car if they went looking for her. You're just gonna mop up the blood? I mean, a positive of all of this, at least it was in the shower. <laughs> easy cleanup. Besides the body, that's not really easy to clean up. Are you gonna wrap her up in that? Why do I feel like you've done this before? Yeah, you're just gonna wrap her up in it. Hmm. Wait, he likes taxidermy. He said it just birds, but is he gonna stuff her body or something? And now what to do with the body? You have to get rid of the car. I have to get rid of the body. You're just gonna put her in the trunk. Well, I guess there's plenty of room. Lucky for you. Could you identify people by fingerprints at this point? Because he should be wearing gloves. Oh, he just turned on the light. Okay. He's the one that turned on the light. Okay. We have to get rid of our suitcase too and our bag. I guess you can keep the cash. Is he not gonna notice it? Hmm. One last thing. Oh, I thought he would like feel that. Kind of felt cash-like. I don't know. Should have kept that money. After going through all this, might as well. Okay. Yeah, I feel like he's done this before. <laughs> Oh, is it not going any further? That's not great for you. Oh, oh, and I guess we're good. You're good, I'm not involved in this. Oh, no, no, no. Sam? Sam? Lady wants to see you. I'm Marion's sister. Sure, Lila. Is Marion here? Marion's dead. She left home on Friday, and I haven't heard from her since. Run out and get yourself some lunch, will you? That's okay, Sam. I brought her with me. Run no, out you need her. to go right now. Get out of here. Well, is Marion in trouble? What is it? Yes. Let's all talk about Marion, shall we? My name is Arbogast, friend. I'm a private investigator. Where is she, Miss Crane? What's your interest in this? $40,000. $40,000? That's right. It's a lot of money now, so I imagine it was a crazy amount then. She was supposed to bank it on Friday for her boss. Mm -hmm. and she didn't. And no one has seen her since. Sam, they don't want to prosecute. They just want the money back. Sam, if she's here... She isn't. Did you check in Phoenix? Hospitals? Maybe she had an accident. Or a holdup. No, she was seen leaving town in her own car. I can't believe it. Can you? She's a criminal. She's here, in this town, somewhere. Nope, not there. Not there. This is the one! Maybe he'll say something suspicious. He'll pick up on it. I almost drove right past. I'm always forgetting to turn the sign on, but we do have a vacancy. Today's linen day. I always change the beds here once a week, whether they've been used or not. Hate the smell of dampness, don't you? It's mm. such a, I don't know, creepy smell. You're a creepy smell. You see, I'm looking for a missing person. My name's Arbogast. I'm a private investigator. We have reason to believe that she came along this way, may have stopped in the area. Did she stop here? Well, no one stopped here for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Look at the picture, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. Definitely sure. Marion Crane's a real name, but she could have registered under a different one. Well, I'll tell you, I don't, I don't even, even much bother with uh, guests registering anymore. You had a couple last weeks that have they said that nobody had been here for a couple of weeks yeah, and there's a couple came you by. And, and yeah, I know that you were open. Yeah. Do you mind if I look at your book? No. Ooh, and you said no one has been here. Here we are. Marie Samuels. 
I don't like this yes. lean. That's so creepy. Marie. Oh, he's gonna have to kill you. Marianne Samuels, her boyfriend's name is Sam. Was she in disguise by any chance? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, it, it was raining and um, not really a very good picture, really. No, I guess not. She arrived uh, rather late one night and she went straight to sleep and uh, left early yeah, the next morning. Yeah, he's catching you in several lies. Did you make any phone calls or no. locally? Did you spend the night with her? Not How would you know that she didn't make any phone calls? Well, she was very tired and uh, see, I, and I'm starting to remember it. I'm Ugh. making a mental picture of it in my mind. Uh, how did she pay you? Cash, check, cash. Cash. cash huh? I guess that's about it. I, I, I got some work to do if you don't mind. I do mind. You see, if it doesn't gel, it isn't aspic. Again, this ain't gelling. Yep. She isn't still here, is she? I, no. I mean, no. I'm glad that he was picking up on the lies. Is anyone at home? No. Your mother. You're lying. Oh, that that, uh, that must be my mother. She's, uh -huh. she's an, an invalid, an invalid, practically like living alone. Oh, I see. One lie after another. Uh, let's Sorry. put it this way. She might have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother met her. Can I, can I talk to your mother? No, I, as I told you, she's, she's confined. I think I've talked to you all I want to. Yes, but so just for... I think it'd be much better if you left now. Thanks. All right. Guess I'll have to come back with a warrant. All right. Thanks anyway. Oh, that smile! No! You didn't get away with it. Would Norman have followed him here? Is he gonna die in this telephone booth? Marion was up here. Yeah, she spent last Saturday night at the Bates Motel. It's right out here on the old highway. This young fellow that uh, runs the place said that she just spent the night, left the next day, and that was it. Well, I did question him, believe me, but uh, I think I got all there was to get. This boy had a sick old mother. I think she saw Marion and talked to her. Norman probably followed him here. No, unfortunately, he wouldn't let me see her. I think I'll go back to the motel first. You stay there with Loomis. I'll be back in about an hour. Uh, I think our friend uh, Sam Loomis didn't know that Marion was here. All right, see you in about an hour or less. Okay, Sam wasn't involved in this. Okay. I really thought he was about to die in that phone booth. Woo! Oh, you're just gonna hide in the shadows like a little creep? No, he's gonna die here. Bates? Mm, you're about to die! Oh no. Yeah, he's an interesting fellow. Interesting little fella. Why does no one lock their door? I would not have walked into this house. We need some backup. You already suspect this family of killing her. Oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh! Ah! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> she moves so fast. Sam, he said an hour or less. It's been three. Well, are we just going to sit here and wait? He'll be back. I'm glad he called her to tell her exactly where he was. You want to go out there, don't you? That wouldn't be a wise thing to do. Patience doesn't run in my family. Sam is a smart one. I'm going one. out there. Oh, well, I'm going. You'll never find it. Stay here. One of us has to be here in case he's on the way. Well, what? What are you gonna do with the second body? And the second car? Oh, I guess, I guess he did the same thing. He didn't come back here. No Arbogast, no Bates. Only the old lady at home. Sick old lady unable to answer the door. Um, she has fine mobility for killing people. Not too sick to answer the door. Let's go see Al Chambers. Who's he? Our deputy sheriff around here. I don't know where to start, except at the beginning. A very good place to start. She's been here searching for her sister. Well, we got a call from this detective saying that he traced her to that motel out on the old highway. He traced her there and called us to say he was going to question Mrs. Bates. Norman took a wife? His mother. Well, anyway, that was early this evening. We haven't seen or heard from him since. She's not missing so much as she's run away. From what? She stole some money. A lot. A lot. I think what's wrong is your private detective called you to keep you still while he took off after her and the money. No. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened, though. Uh, Norman? Sheriff Chambers? Uh, have you uh, had a fella stop by there tonight? This detective was there. Norman told him about the girl. The detective thanked him, and he went away. 
Hmm. That's not what happened. Norman Bates's mother has been dead and buried in Green Lawn Cemetery for the past 10 years. Mrs. Bates poisoned this guy she was involved with when she found out he was married, then took a help into the same self herself. My heart is racing. You mean that old woman I saw sitting in the window out there wasn't Bates' mother? Are you sure you saw an old woman? Yes. Yeah. In the house behind the motel. We've seen a woman. Well, if the woman up there is Mrs. Bates, who's that woman buried out in Green Lawn Cemetery? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. He even walks kind of creepy. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like it. I, I'm, I'm gonna bring something up. <laughs> yeah, he's been talking to his mother. I will not hide in the fruit cellar. I'm staying right here. You hit me there once, boy, and you won't do it again. Not ever again. Now get out. I'll carry you, mother. Put me down. Put me down. I can walk on my own. Now I'm confused. <laughs> this could go, I guess, a few different ways. We thought if you didn't mind, we'd drive out to that motel with you. Went out for service. You didn't find anything. Nothing. You must have seen an illusion, Sam. I know you're not uh, seeing illusions type, and I don't believe in ghosts, so I there it is. I still feel that there's something. I see you do. I don't even think about, I guess her mom could be, his mom could be a ghost. That's one way this could go, and I don't like it. It could be someone acting like his mom, like kind of Maybe taking the place of his mom. Maybe I am seeing illusions type. No, you're not. Or he does like taxidermy, and that's what I'm nervous about. I still won't feel satisfied until I go out there. Neither will I. Come on. We better decide what we're going to say or do when we walk in there. We're going to search every inch of the place, inside and out. You're not going to find her, though. Someone's at that window. I just saw the curtain move. Come on. It was Norman. Oh, my gosh. She's right well, there. Okay, okay, okay. Just coming Hello. up the room for you. Uh-huh. I'll take you to cabin 10. Better sign in first, haven't we? No, that's not necessary. I better sign in and get a receipt. I'll get your bags. I haven't any. I'll show you the room, then. Well, don't bother yourself. We'll find it. Sam, we have to go into that cabin and search it, no matter what we're afraid of finding or how much it may hurt. But if you had a useless business like this motel, what would you need to get out? $40,000? How could we prove that? He didn't even take the money, though. We'll start with cabin one. Is he going to be right outside the door? If he sees us, we're just taking the air. Okay. I feel like he's watching us, though. He's not in the bathroom, is he? He's, he's not in there, right? Oh, no, the shot, they would see it. Okay. It is not the shot anymore. Sam! Yeah! Look. What is it? Some figure has been added to or subtracted from 40,000. That old woman, whoever she is, she told Arbogast something. I want her to tell us the same thing. You can't go up there. Well, let's find him. One of us can keep him occupied while the other gets to the old woman. I don't like you going to that house alone. I can handle mm -hmm. a sick old woman. All right, I'll find Bates and keep him occupied. One of them is going to die, if not both of them. Oh Hello, my gosh, right. she's right there. Yes, no! Oh, this house is getting creepier and creepier. And it was already creepy to begin with. Whew. I am so nervous for you. Because I have, I have no idea what you're going to find. Mother! Hello? Oh, is she still in the cellar, though? He talked about taking her down to the cellar. I don't like this. It's just, it's just, it's just you. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. I think if you saw a chance to get out from under, you'd unload this place. This place happens to be my only world. I grew up in that house up there. My mother and I were more than happy. Yeah, you seem like a very happy person. Is this Norman's room? That's like a child's room. Does he sleep here? You look frightened. Mm. Have I been saying something frightening? Why don't you just get in your car and drive away from here, okay? Forty thousand dollars. I bet your mother knows where the money is and what you did to get it. I think she'll tell us. Where's that girl you came here with? Taking a nap. Where is she? Oh. Oh, and now he's just gonna run to the house where she is! No! No! Are you gonna go down the stairs where the mother is? Oh gosh. I 
think we're about to find mother. No. Hi, mom. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared. No, 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 no. No. Oh my gosh. You're about to die. Okay, this makes sense. No. Gosh. Obviously, I can tell that's very fake, but it still makes me queasy a little bit. Well, if anyone gets any answers, it'll be the psychiatrist. Did he talk to you? Is no. Any kind of explanation here? I got the whole story. I got it from his mother. Norman Bates no longer exists. The other half has taken over. Did he kill my sister? Yes. Are they ever going to find her body? And no. But my sister is... She dead. If you drag that swamp somewhere in the vicinity of the motel, you'll... Yeah, you'll find both of them. You have to go back ten years. To the time when Norman murdered his mother and her lover. Oh, uh, yeah. His mother was a clinging, demanding woman. And for years, the two of them lived as if there was no one else in the world. She met a man. And it seemed to Norman that she threw him over for this man. Now, that pushed him over the line, and he killed them both. Oof. He had to erase the crime, at least in his own mind. So he just kept his mother's body? He stole her corpse. Yikes. He even treated it to keep it as well as it would keep. And that still wasn't enough. So he began to think and speak for her. At times, he could be both personalities, carry on conversations. Yeah, At other times... That. The mother half took over completely. When he met your sister, he was touched by her, aroused by her. He wanted her. That set off the jealous mother, and mother killed the girl. And like a dutiful son, covered up all traces of the crime he was convinced his mother had committed. When the mind houses two personalities, there's always a conflict. In Norman's case, the battle is over, and the dominant personality has won. Do we just have mother now? He feels a little chill. Can I bring him this blanket? Sure. No. All right. I don't know what he's going to do with the blanket, but no, don't give him the blanket. This is some trick. He intended to tell them I killed those girls, as if I could do anything except just sit and stare. They're probably watching me. Let them see what kind of a person I am. They'll see and they'll know. Oh, and they'll smile. say, why she wouldn't no, even No, stop looking at me. I hate Oh my gosh! Oh, at the, at the face! No! That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, oh. This movie, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It was wild. Um, oh gosh. I don't even know my thoughts. It, I think it was more unsettling than anything. It was just creepy and eerie, and especially at the very end, and you just see him smile. And it kind of looked like his face was like morphing with the mother. I wouldn't even say this movie was scary. I mean, it was definitely suspenseful. But just, I don't know. It was it was just eerie and unsettling. It is interesting how all these years later, it has just made it so much into, I guess, horror movies and pop culture. Because I've heard of the Bates Motel. I've heard of Norman Bates. And then the like, the creepy uh, theme of Psycho whenever anything creepy was happening. Like, that's a very popular, well-known sound. So it's crazy how all these years later, it's still woven in pop culture and in other movies. But, whoo, this was unsettling. As soon as they reveal, I guess the sheriff revealed that the mother was dead. I was just trying to, like, piece things together. And I thought, well, I didn't think it was, like, ghost-like at first until... He mentioned ghosts, and I was like, I, I don't like that. Oh, I also thought that maybe there was another woman involved that was acting like his mother. Um, and then I thought maybe he is into taxidermy, and that ended up being closest to what was happening. He was preserving the body. That was so creepy. And it's crazy how, like, obviously the mother, I could tell it's very fake, like it's dated. But it was still so unsettling, like, to this day. I guess the music and the buildup all still made it so creepy and so unsettling all these years later.
So it holds up. It's very creepy. Also, the fact that Norman Bates, I don't know, like he seemed awkward at first, but he seemed very normal. And then Marianne was talking to him more and you could see that, oh, maybe there, there's something about him. And then we see, we, we find out more and more as the movie goes on. Oh, this movie was very well done. Very well done, but also so unsettling. But I'm glad that I finally watched it. I can't say that. I finally made it through this movie. Yeah, this, this movie was just a whole lot of anxiety. Wow. Wow. Well, now I understand all of those connections. Like Bates Motel, I know that it's from here. Norman Bates is from here. So at least I know where all of those references are from. But whew, what an unsettling movie. Well, this was Psycho. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Thank you.